This week on Maker Update, an animated wooden sign, new mesh boards from Particle, 3D printed QR coasters, a retractable cardboard knife, 3D printing on fabric, and my talk with Jonatron. It's Wednesday, Valentine's Day. I'm Donald Bell, and welcome to another Maker Update. I've been keeping busy this week working on welding together a steel frame for a new Power Racing Series car that I'm building. I also get to pick up my new mini boat kit this week. It's going to be a busy next few months for me, but I've got a great show for you this week with a lot of great projects, so let's get started with the project of the week. Nicole Catrett from Wonderful Idea Company made this awesome animated automata wooden sign for a traveling show called Curious Contraptions. She has a blog post that walks you through the entire design process from sketch to prototype to final build. The whole thing is driven by a single 12 volt DC gear motor that drives a series of wooden gears and cams that make each letter dance and move in its own way. What's impressive is that she's animating two separate words on two separate rods using a gear to transfer the motion of one rod to the other. She shows how by using threaded rod, she can dial in the exact spacing and tension to place things right where they need to be and it also allows you to easily reconfigure and experiment with different shapes and ideas. I love it and I see no reason why you couldn't scale it down to just a single word just to get started. It's time for some news. This week, Particle announced a new suite of IoT project boards that make use of low power mesh networking. The boards are called the Argon, Boron, and Xenon. They all use the same Adafruit Feather form factor and are compatible with Adafruit's Feather Wing accessories. The three flavors are cellular, Wi-Fi, or mesh only, priced at $29, $15, and $9. They all come with Bluetooth Low Energy and are Arduino compatible. What makes the announcement particularly cool is that these are the first boards I've seen to use mesh networking, which should allow you to play around with IoT projects that reach out beyond Wi-Fi range. You can find a blog post with photos and specs on my site, makerprojectlab.com. One more project I wanna share with you this week, Mikasaurus has a fun guide on Instructables for making your own 3D printed QR code drink coasters. Aside from being a cool geeky drink accessory, Mike set up the QR code so that anyone who scans it is automatically connected to his Wi-Fi network. How cool is that? Mike goes over how to generate the code for free, how to export it as an SVG file, how to bring it into Tinkercad, and how to create the different layers of the 3D print. It's a great project and I'm sure there are a bunch of other applications for it. It's time for another cool tools review. This time we're taking a look at a spin-off of one of the most talked about tools I've ever shown on this show. This is the retractable version of the Canary Cardboard Knife. I got this for around $8 on Amazon. You wanna get this exact same one? You can use the Amazon link in the description which helps support my videos and the cool tools blog. If you haven't seen this already, this Japanese import serrated knife makes cutting through cardboard super easy and much safer than using a box cutter. The blade is relatively safe to touch unless you apply a lot of force. And because the tip is actually blunt, you can carve up cardboard or foam cord directly on your workbench without gouging up the surface. So this yellow handled one is the first one I bought and reviewed and it's still my go-to when I wanna quickly break down boxes. The non-stick coating is also great for slicing through packing tape without it getting all gummed up. But for only a dollar or two more, there's this green handled retractable version, same company, same blade and blade length, and the same idea, but it's just built a little better for everyday work use. The obvious advantage is that it's retractable, so you can keep this in your pocket or your tool bag and it's not gonna chew things up or damage the blade. But the unexpected advantage is that this nice wide handle is more ergonomic. The original handle feels a little bit more like a dinner knife, but this retractable one feels like a professional kitchen knife. Another interesting design element is that you can use this tension knob to get as much or as little blade length as you need. And there's a stop on the bottom of the handle that allows you to pull the blade free and replace it when it wears out. You can buy a set of replacement blades on Amazon for around $10, and these replacements are non-stick coated like the original yellow handled version. The blade that comes with this retractable model isn't non-stick from what I can tell. My only complaint with this design is that there's a somewhat sharp edge on the metal extending out from the grip. I filed mine down just to knock the edge off, but I feel better handing the original to my kid than this retractable one. But for a grown-up, especially one who needs an easy, pocketable way to break down cardboard boxes, this retractable cardboard knife from Canary is a great alternative to using a box cutter. And 
more satisfying in my opinion. You can use the Amazon link in the description to pick one up and you can see thousands of reader recommended tools like this at cool-tools.org. I have a few more tips to share with you this week. First, while reading about Nicole's Curious Contraptions project, I came across a link to GearGenerator.com. If, like me, the idea of gears seems like a daunting and unknowable world, this site allows you to quickly stack and modify and link gears together in a way that you can't screw up. When you get a result that seems worth a try, you can export your custom gears as DXF or SVG files, which you can throw at a laser cutter or a 3D printer or just print out as a template and jigsaw into some wood. In honor of Valentine's Day, the team at Evil Mad Scientists have a printable set of Engineer Valentine's cards for 2018. This is a tradition they've been doing every year since 2013, and you can download them all. With a single card, you can simultaneously prove both how romantic and how nerdy you are. Over the weekend, Gareth Branwin sent me a link to this video by Uncle Jesse showing how to 3D print cosplay textures, like scales, onto fabric. You essentially establish a print, pause it, introduce some loose weave cloth, and then resume the print. If all goes well, you're left with this textured material that you can integrate into a costume. Finally, last Friday, I tried an experiment and recorded a live Google Hangout with Jonatron from Instructables. We spent 20 minutes going over how he built this flip top work table for his CNC router. It's a great conversation with lots of useful bits about different parts and techniques. I'll include a link at the end of this video, but I really want you guys to let me know what you think. Because in theory, this might be something I could arrange every few weeks and talk to different makers about their projects. But I wanna hear from you and see what I could do to make that something you'd wanna watch. And that does it for this week's show. Be sure to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, get yourself a cardboard cutting knife. I'm sure a lot of you here can already back me up on how cool those things are. And if you really like this show, you can buy me a coffee using the buy me a coffee link right down here. I appreciate it, all right? Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.